guys, the other 666 here, oh, with a bunch of life lessons today. Today I learned things that look good and sound good, taste terrible. How does watermelon and peach taste, that's not what it would taste like. Have you ever had a watermelon or a peach? Who made this? I want to write this company. I want to see if they've even, I bet they don't even know how to eat a watermelon. I can't stand that, man, it's disgusting. I bought two of them. I was like, ooh, this can't be bad. Great. Just great. And I wanted to talk to you about some stuff. Of course, not everyone's parking near me and staring at me, but I don't care. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't care what people think. I basically wanted to tell you guys to keep, a head, keep an eye out. Anyone who's a teacher has been lying to everyone. I'm not going to name names, but I started looking at people's profiles. Their uh, public profiles, getting their usernames and looking up their selling prices, and they're basically lying to everyone. Oh, also, I don't know if they're smart enough to know. It tells you how many orders you have active right now. So the client knows they're not going to be waiting forever. That's why they do that. It's been that way forever on Fiverr. But basically, a bunch of people that have told me they're making tons of money, I just looked it up, they're not. Not only are they not, one guy said that he wasn't ever going to be doing audiobooks, he's done with them. Not only is he not done with them, he's doing them at a lower rate than I am. I don't know why these people are like this. I know it's scary times, but I can't believe people lie to people like that, man. I guess because they're teachers, they're too afraid to admit they're failing. It's okay. These, these, these aren't normal times. Stop letting your ego take control. It doesn't mean you're not worth the money. You still have things you can teach people. I don't get these people, man. I just wanted to give you a warning. Please keep an eye out. I'm going to be adjusting my rates. I'm going to just... I think I'm just going to make it double what I make DoorDash. That way, if I'm working on a book, it's worth my time. You know what I mean? It's not a waste. Because I'm not going too low. When, when it gets too low, it's just charity. It's not, it's not worth doing. Especially after work. You just get exhausted. You break down. It's not a way to build a business or to make something you want to do. So I wish everyone the best. I hope they appreciate this advice. I'm going to keep trying to make these as informational as I can. I might even... I wish I could show you. I just really don't want to be that guy tearing people down. But man, people are straight lying to you. And you're paying them to teach you. Please be careful. Peace.